Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We are coming back to player reviews now. A uh, few more player reviews we are gonna be doing in this channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get into today's video, which is gonna be another UFA Euro Path to Glory player, which is none other than Yusuf for Fana. Now, you guys would have seen Portugal versus France. I am a bit sad that uh, Ronaldo didn't get to go into the semi finals, but I am happy that France. I are in the semi-finals and France versus Spain is gonna be insane guys so yeah now we are gonna be looking at one of the Frenchmen who is Fofana now he is a center midfielder 94 rated center midfielder card he has in this uh, game right now which is the objective card if you guys have been paying to the objective sections in this game you will see that he was added I think two days back as of I mean as of the time you guys are watching this video, he should have been two days since he's been added in the game. Now, what we're going to be doing is we'll look at his stats, we'll look at what you need to complete in order to get this card. This is a free card, anybody can get, just play some games and complete the objectives. And we'll look at his stats in detail. And on the end, we'll put him in a team and see how he's going to be in game, whether the whether the player in game is true to the stats on the card which we are looking at right now. Now, without any further ado, let's actually get started with the objective itself path to glory yusuf for fana now the first one is the french vision which is you have to score an assist using a player from legon in three separate games so you should use one player from legon and you should score an assist with the same player in three different games and the next one is creative assist you need to have five assists using a midfielder which is pretty much easy you just have to give a ball with your midfielder to the attacker and then complete the objective and the one which is going to take you guys probably the most time is the play seven because you have to play seven games no no other you know you need to have this player from this nothing like that just play seven games and the final one is play five games and win those five games while having at least three players from uh, france i think yeah you need to have three players at least from france in your squad while doing this objective and win those five games and you'll be able to complete all these while doing that itself so just play seven games have three frenchmen in that have one player from uh, league one and make sure you guys get five assists from your uh, with your midfielders i think that is pretty much it you will get this wonderful 94 rated center midfielder for fana card now let's actually claim all this get for fana put him in the squad and when he's in the squad we'll look at the stats in depth and see how he is in game because you guys are seeing the card he has 90 90 rated stats all over the place so now Let's actually look at the stats from here itself. Why not? He is playing for AC Monaco. I don't know how many of you guys knew that. I did not know that. Yeah, it is what it is. Five star weak foot though. I am happy with five star weak foot. His attacking and defensive work rates are high. He's not. Uh, he doesn't have any alternate positions. But I feel like you can play him at CDM centre back. Also, he'll be really good at those positions since he has uh, high defensive uh, stats. So I am happy with this card so far. Four star skill move. So yeah good days i guess i don't know and looking at his stats looking at his stats uh let's actually finish the play style let's actually finish the play style he has uh one play style plus for passing and he has three play style pluses for defending so that's what i told you can use him as a center back or as a defensive midfield player as well because look at his defensive stats he has 92 defending and he has four play styles for defending which are placed it's out of which three are play style pluses so I think this is a good card to use as a defensive player as well. Now the how does this work? Win three games. Okay, I think you guys know how this works. Win the quarterfinals, you get plus one upgrade. So was he 93 when he was released? I am not sure. I didn't know. I didn't see the stats. But if he wins the semi-finals, he gets plus one upgrade or five star five star. That is actually good. So he might get a five star skill move upgrade or he might get 90 five rated card as well and if france wins the finals he's gonna go to 95 or 96 depending on what he gets in the, the semi-final so apart from that looking at the stats in detail 93 pace 92 shooting 93 passing 91 dribbling 92 defense and 94 physical i am already in love with physical because he has 98 stamina i just whack him in the game and i don't have to worry about the next 90 minutes of in-game time i'm just gonna be playing with him and he's an absolute monster i would say because he is six foot one and he has good 
short pass and long pass he has 98 long pass he has 99 short pass and when you see the short power he has 97 short power guys and 94 long shots so you put him at center midfielder you put him at cdm you put him at center back he is gonna dominate those three positions and i am actually happy that finally after a long time everybody is gonna get a card like this free to play players i, I am a free to play player and i'm happy and i'm buzzing with this card because look at the stats overall looks really good 96 print speed and 90 acceleration i feel like he might get an upgrade to acceleration if he gets full cam i don't know whether usually it'll go to sprint speed or whether it'll usually go to acceleration not really sure about but we'll look at that when we add him to the team apart from that even defensive uh, stats if you look at defensive stats he has 96 interception he has 95 defensive awareness he has 93 stand tackle and i mean slight tackle and 91 stand tackle as well apart from that he has 93 ball control 91 dribbling not bad not bad 97 vision and we saw the passing stats he has 94 long shot 97 shot per 92 finishing 96 attacking position i feel like this is one of the best free to play free to play cards that we have got in a long time like i said now without any further ado actually let us put him in a squad i am gonna be putting him in my main squad guys i just i don't have the energy to build a squad around him so we'll just whack him in a squad and test him in game how he's gonna be uh so this is how my main squad is looking right now now yesterday's video was this evolution review i don't know how many of you guys have watched it i am actually gonna complete this he's already in stage two uh guardiol so we just have to complete stage two and one more is remaining so yeah let me just add fofana and i'll show you guys the stats okay i'm gonna put fofana instead of cruz because that's the only place he's gonna be getting full cam at so if i have this team i have a full cam team and fofana is getting full cam so we can see how the stats are okay he gets plus three in sprint speed so it gives him 99 sprint speed he gets 99 attacking position he gets 99 shot par he gets boost in penalties volleys and then 99 long pass as well he gets plus four in curve he gets 99 vision he gets 97 ball control and 95 dribbling you know these stats boosted stats look really nice he gets 95 stand tackle 99 defensive awareness he gets 97 slight tackle he gets 96 strength as well so these these stat boosts are looking really nice now let us actually see in game for a center midfielder usually we test shooting we test dribbling and most probably a bit of defense as well i don't know i mean usually we don't test defending that much we'll test shooting passing and dribbling and sprint speed naturally will come to know how he is i mean for a defensive i mean for a midfielder 93 paces more than enough i feel like uh, but we'll see how he's in game he does feel a bit slow not gonna lie because of 90 acceleration fofana does feel a bit slow but so far ball control dribbling and stuff looks really good passing also looks really good i'm not gonna complain i mean it does say he has 90 uh, acceleration so he does feel a bit slow uh, off the bat. Apart from that, let's just play a little bit more and see how he's gonna go. The passing is really good, guys. Like short pass is really, really good. If his acceleration was a bit better, I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be. This would have been the best. The best free card we, were, we would have ever got even this goal goal was really decent shooting shot power was really good I, I actually forgot what his strong foot was but we shot with his left foot and it was it actually went in a bit rapid not gonna lie how was that long pass long pass also is pretty crazy you know he does have uh, he does have good long pass not gonna lie so far 16 minutes of in-game time he has good passing like long pass short pass advanced pass lob pass all these passes are good and he has good sprint speed yes he it, it went to 99 but acceleration is <laughs> his acceleration is jokes 
90 acceleration pretty much feels like 83 or 85 acceleration it, it is too slow i don't know how it is that slow but it is somehow that slow oh oh that was wild what was that miss what was that miss i mean ball control I would say ball control is decent. Look at that. This acceleration is so weak, guys. Because of the acceleration being that weak, his dribbling is becoming a bit of a hindrance sometimes. I feel like if ax I mean, I we can use some chemistry style to probably boost his acceleration. And the rest of the things will be fine. But apart from that, is I'm the only thing I'm finding very uh, odd is his acceleration. It does say he has 90 acceleration, but it feels like it's almost like uh, it's at his lower 80s. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, that's how his acceleration feels from, to me right now. Apart from that, shooting is really good. He got good shooting. Passing is amazing. Ball control is really good. Just because of his acceleration, his dribbling feels a bit odd. It's not. I'm not telling it's a bit off. It's a bit odd. You know, that ball is just... No, it ain't, it ain't sitting the right way. It doesn't feel right, the dribbling. As a, as a, as a center midfielder, guys, I'm telling you, for a free card, as a center midfielder, 94 at the center midfielder, he has decent pace. Uh, ignore the acceleration. Acceleration is a bit whack. We can use chemistry style to increase it. Shooting is really good. And then passing is amazing. Just all the passes are amazing. Uh, I'm not tested out header here i don't know where he stands so i don't know how to test his heading but yeah shooting is really good uh, ball control is really good i feel like maybe if we increase his pace or i mean maybe if we increase his acceleration will the dribbling get sorted out i don't know if you guys are using uh, for fun uh, let me know by using some chemistry style if you guys are actually finding it better to use a chemistry style and if his dribbling is good let leave a comment it'll help out a lot of people watching the video as well but apart from that i feel like it's a good card for the considering the fact that it's a free card guys i'm happy with it i am happy with it good shooting crazy passing good ball control defense is also pretty much on point because of his stand tackle slide tackle and all that stuff i i, I, I couldn't show you guys the dribbling part because it's so small just like a second of it i don't know how to show you guys uh, but apart from that everything is good even the skill move look at that this acceleration is the only part where i feel very very like it's it's putting me off yeah it, the acceleration is putting me off i don't think i will use sofana like this if i have to use sofana in my main lineup i might have to whack on like hunter or something just to increase even a shooting to max and uh, keep his uh, pace at an insane level so that his acceleration goes up. But apart from that, I think it's a pretty good cut. I'll see you guys in the next video, but let me know in the comment section if you guys have applied any, uh, you know, chemistry style to boost his acceleration and how he is in game. It'll help out a lot of people who watch the video as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay motivated and keep smiling, guys. Bye-bye.